So today I want to talk about dictating the round. What I mean by this is to control how, when, and where you engage the other team. A little disclaimer, when I say to control the round, I don't mean constantly pushing for aim duels and always re-peaking an angle. Your goal should be to force your opponent's hand in a way that gives you the advantage. When it comes down to the actual engagement, you should be comfortable and ready and already know the possible outcomes and how you're going to react to each of them. This is something that is very simple but very important to keep in mind because it will increase your ability to play against higher skilled opponents when pure aim alone won't do the trick. It helps give you the advantage of positioning and timing. So now the questions of how, when, and where. How do you want to fight your opponent? Preferably one at a time, have a video on that here. Do you want to surprise them with a flash and a quick push or wait the other side of a smoke or sit on a passive angle in the bomb site with counter flashes ready? When do you want the engagement to happen? Do you want to try to take a quick fight early in the round when one or two people might be scouting a side of the map or do you want to force the other team to commit to a bomb site by slowly using smokes and mollies to burn time? The question of when is also important while in an aim duel. Do you want to swing wide and fight after they have fired a long burst or to catch them while the recoiler is recovering or even reloading, or take the opportunity to fall back and live to see another day? Where do you want the fight to happen? This is important from a positioning standpoint. If you're on eco and have pistols, a closer angle that might be a one and done spot may be preferable. If you have excellent aim and have teammates that can rotate, you might want to play an angle with distance so you can slowly tap away and burn time. A good mental practice is to run through the map and think about all the positions that as a T or a CT you hate because you have to check multiple angles at once or positions that leave you exposed to multiple angles at once. Try to keep these in mind and use them to your advantage while playing the game. So I wanted to give you a really quick example of what I mean by actually showing you in game. So on cache, I usually play the bomb site A on CT side. So this is a really common bomb site for terrorists. The most common thing they're gonna do is smoke off like this, throw a pot flash, and they're gonna come in, right? Now as they come in, they're gonna check left, they're gonna check right, they're gonna come up here. This was a bad smoke, by the way. They're gonna be checking here and here. And these are two angles that are very exposed, and I have to check both at the same time. They're kind of scary. So naturally, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take advantage of that. I like to play against this wall somewhere, just around here, and I like to play back in quad. Now I'm gonna show you what I like to do from this angle. This angle is great, by the way, because they're coming across, they're looking at forklift, upper cat, they're looking everywhere, and you can get some easy headshots, especially if you have teammates distracting from somewhere else in the bomb site. So what I like to do to even further my advantage is as soon as I start pushing into the site, I like to drop a little smoke just for myself. So the smoke's gonna land, wait for it to stop making so much noise, and I like to sit behind this and maybe counter flash through it so they can't really see. The smoke's gonna, it's gonna pop, maybe a spam a little bit, but the main advantage here is if they're going to get onto the bomb site, which they have to do because my teammates are rotating, so they're going to get picked off and killed from mollies and nades, they have two options. They can either jump up here, which is going to expose them to a lot of angles at once, and they're going to have to check a lot of things that I can easily pick them off, or they're going to have to run through the smoke that I just landed here. They're going to pop flash themselves through, and they're going to be blind coming through, and they're just going to run right into me waiting on the other side. So this is a really, really simple example of I didn't overthink anything. I just use a single smoke to give myself a massive advantage. Because in those 15 seconds where they have entered the bomb site, that's huge. My entire team can rotate here and be ready to kill them if they decide not to push through one of these smokes. And pushing through smokes is a death sentence, so it's incredibly beneficial to me and my teammates. So another thing I like to do on the A bomb site is if we're not going to smoke anything off, by the way, in either of these sets. Um, I like to have a teammate boost me up on this. So if I get up here, whoop, it's kind of hard. And it's kind of like this, and you're sitting here, right? And you're waiting for them to peek the angle to either clear the bomb site with an op, an AK, or they're going to throw their executes and start executing. You can sit here and get a free, easy kill as they peek this corner. Now, the reason for this is, of course, they're clearing at one angle at a time. No one's going to check a small little head up here. It's an elevation angle. It's kind of hard to see. And when they come out around the corner like this, they might pop flash. And they're immediately going to check left, look all over this, and then be looking to the right, looking over here. No one's going to be looking up here. So you're going to at least free one or two kills, and you can fall off, and you can play the bomb site like you have before. Smoke off something like that, throw some counter flashes, and you're good to go. So this is basically what I've done on cash. It's a quick example of being in game. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to follow my Twitter at LO3TV, and if you want to check out me streaming, I'm probably going to be streaming for the next few days during the holidays. Uh, LO3TV on Twitch. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you had a good one, and peace out.